Hi there guys and girls, it's Alex at DJ Event Planner and I'm going to be showing you how to set up your scheduled SMSs. First of all, thank you for signing up for testing the scheduled SMSs. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to make this possible. Hopefully you've already set up your SMS systems with Twilio. If you haven't, go to Setup, SMS and Settings and here you'll be able to enter your Twilio credentials. And hopefully you've already got a few templates already set up under events and meeting reminders. So the way scheduled SMS works is very similar to how scheduled emails work, except for scheduled SMSs can be sent um, at any point in the day. And we run a sending script every 10 minutes. So instead of it running once a day at 4 a.m., this script runs every 10 minutes and it starts at five past the hour. So let's get started with our first type of scheduled SMS and that is an event based SMS. Hopefully you've already got an event based template. If you haven't, go create one. Then when you go into your template, you'll now see a new tab that says scheduling. Click on this. And if you've set up scheduled emails in the past, you'll notice this is very, very, very similar. The only thing is we now have a few new features in there and a few new block serve warnings. Well, not warnings, but wording to make you aware of some things. For example, when setting up a scheduled time to send, you should be setting this based on your time zone. Also, due to daylight savings time changes, there may be a time where there is an hour difference on occasions. Um, this is purely while we're beta testing. Obviously, we've just missed the last daylight savings time change. So we'll need to keep an eye on this when the next one comes in. Also, be aware that some networks may delay delivery. And this is completely out of our control. And also take into consideration uh, the time you're sending the SMS. So if you'll notice here, when we're setting up an event based one, it's similar to scheduled emails where you can send it X amount of days before, after set dates. For this, I'm going to send it three days before an event date. And I'm also going to set the time to send to 10 a.m. I could set it to go to 10 past, 20 past, 30 past, 40 past, 50 past. Actually, we'll set that to 10.20 a.m. I'm going to enable it just like I would a scheduled email version. And again, with the event parameters, these are the settings that control whether the SMS will be triggered to sent. So I'm going to select all event types, all event statuses for this, all packages, all add-ons. Again, you can tweak this to your requirements. One of the other changes we have here is the send from. Um, so in this list, you'll have master admin, assigned salesperson, and primary employee. It will also list any employees with SMS credentials set up within the system. Whoever you pick from here, we will attempt to send from their account. If we're unable to find any Twilio credentials at the time of sending, we'll try to send the text message from the master admin credentials. So for this test, I'm going to set it up as master admin, as I know that account is set up. And I want to send this to my client. One thing you must be aware of, we will only send to the phone number that is in the cell slash mobile phone field, depending on where you are in the world. Um, so for us in the UK, we call it a mobile. For most people in the rest of the world, it's a cell phone. So there must be a phone number in the cell slash mobile phone number field. This is what we will use. This is the number we'll send to. We will not send to any other number. So please be advised that your client or your employee or salesperson or whoever you pick must have a phone number in there. One other thing you can do is you can also send to. So similar to what you have with the scheduled, uh, scheduled emails, you can also set a manual phone number to send to. So in this occasion, I'm going to send to myself. 
You do not need to include any international dialing codes unless you are intending to send internationally. And finally, as with the scheduled SMS, you can set the event status to whatever after sending the SMS template. So we're going to save this. And I actually already have an event set up in the system, which is on the 20th. And you'll now find in the reports, if you want to check your scheduled SMS reports, a new menu option just under scheduled emails called scheduled SMSs. Now I've already opened this in a new window. So based on this event here, we should have a scheduled SMS due to be sent in the next well at some point today now obviously we are past 10 30 a.m my time um it's actually 2 30 a.m here but you can see here if it didn't happen to send you'll see that it was uh scheduled to be sent but it wasn't sent if i go and change that template and actually base it on my time zone so I'm going to send this for 2.40 p.m. We'll go refresh the report. And you'll now see it's due to be sent today at 2.40 p.m. So in approximately four minutes time, I should get a text message come through to my phone with those details. On the report page, it's identical to the scheduled emails page where you have the green ticks, the red crosses, the scheduled and the unknown errors. You can also view the recipients, so the phone numbers we are due to be sending to. So this is for event based. Now let's go show you a meeting reminder based. So we're going to go back to the other window. Go to meeting reminders. And I already have a, a generic template set up with no scheduling set up on it. Once again, you'll now see a scheduling tab. Click on this. And again, it's very, very similar to uh, scheduled meeting reminders on emails. The difference is here, you can actually set it to be sent at a time of day or an X amount of time before the appointment. Again, this works on your time zones. So working on set time of day, you'd work it out exactly the same as an event base. So I want to send this three days before the appointment at 10 a.m. I'm going to enable. And again, you've got the options of who to send it from. And exactly like the other one, if no credentials are found, we'll send from the master admin. If we can't send from the master admin, the SMS won't be sent. We're going to save this. And that's my scheduled email set up. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go add an appointment. We're just going to go create a basic appointment. Doesn't really matter what I'm putting in here right now. Um, we're going to set this to 5 p.m. And we're going to set this to the 22nd. And in order to get the reminder SMSs, similar to the reminder emails, you must select a client, venue, employee, and so on. Again, we will utilize the cell phone slash mobile phone number that's entered in that field. So you'll see here you've got two new things. Reminder SMS, reminder SMS 2. Select your template and click on save on this page you'll now see just like you would have with an SMS sorry uh, email reminder you'll now see that it's scheduled to be sent on the 19th at 10 a.m. and again if we go back to our report go forward two pages you'll now see a planner item that is due to be sent at 10 a.m. again you can view recipients and it tells you which ID and what date the meeting reminder is going to be. Let's just go back and make a slight tweak. So that was that set time of day. 
If you want to send it a set duration before the meeting, go back to your scheduling tab and change this to X time before appointment. And I want this to be sent out two hours before the appointment. So I'm going to change this to when to send to 120 minutes before the start time of the appointment. I'm going to save this. Now, if we go back to our calendar and I go and look at the pop-up window for this, you'll see the time has changed. The start time of the appointment is five o'clock. My client will get a message at three o'clock, just to remind them. So as you can see, it's fairly straightforward. Not much to, uh, to set up. Um, if you have any questions, or you find any bugs, please post on the official support forum. I'll be keeping an eye on that for a while. Um, for anyone in different time zones from central to, well actually no, to be fair, when you post, if you find any time zone issues or um, time sending issues, so it didn't send at quite the right time, please let us know which time zone you're in. Also, please allow 10 to 15 minutes after the due sent time as i said the script runs every 10 minutes so it may not always be on exactly the time you're expecting it to send but as always any questions any problems post on the support forum and i'll give you a hand